Welcome to the recap of The Golden Bachelor. It's your golden I am Jamie and this is Stephanie of The Ugly Truth. This is our mini episode. We are recapping episode two and three of The Golden Bachelor. Obviously, women are being sent home left and right, but let's do a quick <laughs> recap of episode two really quick. Well, let me ask you, are you still in love with it? Are you still down with the show? Absolutely. Same. Okay. I love it. We're still on board. Um, okay. So, well, what I love is how everybody's like, ladies, we are older. We should have a sense of decorum. And We're some fine. Of, and some of them are like, no. <laughs> I'm here to get a man. <laughs> right? So in episode two, Teresa got the, the first, first date. Yes. They went to the... Uh, a diner. S- the sock hop. Well, the one thing... Uh, what diner. What, well, on the way, I did think that was kind of a sweet moment when they were both really nervous because the mm-hmm. lights in the car weren't working. Yeah, that was really terrifying. It was scary. And if ever, you've ever... Ever been on the 405 in LA? Thank you. I was going to say, if you've ever driven in LA, <laughs> in, in LA on the 405 at night... It's very and, scary. And neither of them live there. No, they don't. And they've never done it so no. it would be, it's intimidating yes. and to have something going wrong and everything so they were both like fuck and on top of it they're on camera they're trying so they're to trying to be smile <laughs> right fine everything's fine but in reality <laughs> if this was a real couple you'd either you'd be probably be fighting she'd be like you know um susan did my hair and now it's just blowing in the wind yeah like, and that was the other thing i work. thought too that i was, was like so funny like, why? she's like can you curl it and she's like i've been doing hair for 35 years and none of that mattered because he shows up in a goddamn convertible that was hilarious Fuck. yeah oh, so i thought that was really cute that she put her arm on a sh- her, you know her hand on his shoulder he genuinely appreciated because it. You he could was see his scared face. yes he started smiling he's like thank you for that so much and i'm like right he knows how to communicate and i appreciate he that because some men would have just been like oh you know and later said i was so glad she did that but never once tell her that he liked thank it. you and it what, was very sweet it was sweet and one of the things mm-hmm. that i loved about it was um that she that was more of a human moment to it me was than a, it was a romantic moment absolutely she's like it's all right we got this and the other thing is, is that only a ma- not only but i think mostly mature women mm-hmm. would recognize that moment yes because with experience mm-hmm. you start to understand that men have to be like strong all the time and they know where they're going and they're in charge <laughs> so true. but really they're not well and the and the, the headlights weren't working yeah. and he has no control over that absolutely and they kind of just let it happen because he, he can't pull over. No. They would have been killed. <laughs> so there was they, no they choice. To. Yeah. And I don't know exactly where they went because the diner didn't look real. It looked like a stage. It did look like one. It well, looked staged. It definitely was staged because yeah. like, we're getting to it. But I just wonder if they were at Universal Studios or something and they just created maybe. this area. It I wonder looked- if there's some way to know like on a subreddit or something. Well, I've been, I pour over the Golden Bachelor Reddits and all I can tell you is they have very strong opinions about the show because somehow they believe this is all real, which is strange. (laughs) But anyway, I digress. So I will say, so Teresa and and Gary did have a lovely conversation. In episode two, there was a lot of discussion about their dead spouses. Yeah. Gary, no, but the women were... Talking, talking about their about their loss, yeah. which is fine, but well, I think they needed to for for the production purposes. Yeah. They need to cover it. Well, and they need to know who's a widow, who's not. You need you to know? have some context about these people, and it yes. makes them more human to well, us. Sure, because you know, and uh, in episode two, the women he interacted with, they're all widows. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I see what we're doing. We're just going to kind of, you know, compare our war stories in a way and see how healed Gary is yeah. compared to these other women. Mm-hmm. And I found that interesting. Um, I think Teresa is a very nice person, but I didn't get any vibe that he was interested in her beyond anything, in well, my opinion. I, yeah. She's, I, she was real chatty. She kept trying to complete his sentences quite a bit during the diner singing. Yeah, that's true. And I was like, yeah, I just don't know if he that's his jam. I mean, I think they had a good time. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, but you know, you can have a great time with some people if you're just, if you have mm-hmm. a nice personality and you get along well with others. And, and I think she's a sweetheart. She is. I just don't think he finds her romantically the one. Maybe not. And that's the thing about- um, I don't know. I mean- The Golden Bachelor, because I, I know me and you, we've talked about this a million times. As you get older, mm-hmm. the things that you find um, attractive in a person are so different from what you were attracted to when you were er, when you were oh, young. Oh, yeah. It, it completely You changed. really have to get to know somebody. Yeah. You're not going to be attracted by like looks right away. Well, no, but you, but it, and it is surprising too, because I know there's been some, and we'll talk about it later. There's been some shocking send homes 
that people are like, I can't believe. And I'm like, really? Because there was no connection. Yeah. Just no none. Chemistry. There was yeah. just none. On that note, uh, in episode two, they were celebrating Gary's birthday. Yes, that was sweet. And so, the, and yes, they did have the group date where they um, were taking pictures of different eras. I hated that. It was dumb. I just, yeah, it was, it was like so dumb. I thought it was dumb. And I'm like, look, I, what I really didn't want to see in this show was them make them look old. Which this did. And it did. I didn't like it. And the outfits they had them wearing were ugly. And she's like, I'm a 70s girl. And she's Stop pouting. It. And I'm like, okay. And you know what? On that note, I really like Leslie. I don't yeah. like her name, but I like her. I know, huh? She's the one with the two. Um, she yes. has hearing aids like Gary does. Right. I think she's amazing. She but is. she sure does pout a lot. Yeah. I mean, she's constantly pouting. I mean, she's she's all like the me show. She was pouting in episode three, too. And I'm like, okay, yeah. you know what? I'm kind of done with you being a pouty baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, can you be a woman now right. and stop acting like a big baby all the Good time? Good point, yeah. I mean, God, can you imagine getting into a fight with her? No. Or being her daughter? Hell Ugh. no, hell no. Like, Jesus, mom is pouting again. I cannot. Someone hurt her feelings at the grocery store. Yeah. So now we all got to hear about it for 10 and minutes. And she's already pouting this oh early. Oh, my God. In, uh, yeah, that's only going to get There's worse. There's a gaggle of women. And you're, you're already like, I didn't want to be in the 80s. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to let it ruin my time, though. Like, but I'm allowed to be upset. But I'm allowed to vocalize my dis- discontent. My, my feelings are real. I'm like, oh, my God. All right, fine. Tell us your feelings, then. Leslie. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the photo shoot was stupid. And then of course, Ellen was, she (laughs) was very distraught that she had to wear a wedding dress. She, you know, and it was actually kind of a poignant moment, you know, cause she's just like. When they first showed her getting upset about it, I was like, this is stupid. Stop it. But then. Yeah. Like you were starting to say. Yeah. She was like, it was the best day of my life and I miss my mark. And I'm like, oh geez, this is rough, man. Yeah. I don't have that kind of emotional attachment to my wedding dress, but. Well, yeah, I get it. Once he started talking to her yeah. and they really started exploring that subject, yes. then, and then I didn't feel so like that's cheesy and dumb. Like no, then, she legitimately was like, it was the best day of my life outside of having my kids. Right. I, we had a wonderful marriage and I'm yeah. like, okay, now I'm cool with all of this, but I can't have a whole season of this. Like no. at some point, Gary's got to get horny. Like we have to see him being a man. <laughs> And not someone's therapist. He will. At some point. You know? Well, what I think it's important that they establish him as a gentleman. Uh, and that is absolutely, you're right. And he has to be respectful. I think you're correct on that. So after episode two, uh, Jeannie and Natasha were sent home. Now, Natasha was the one where during his birthday, she hugged him and he went, wow, you hug like my wife. Oh. And immediately I was like. Did I miss that? I guess I did. It was a side, it was kind of like a side thing. I just, I, I perked up when he said it. Because, you know, there's been some debate about the ethnicity of his wife. Yeah. I've looked at enough pictures of her. She's probably not black. She's probably Hispanic or Puerto Rican or I, something. I definitely think she's she's potentially mixed. Her, their kids look mixed. They look Hispanic or Puerto, Puerto Rican. They or, don't look white, white. They're not white. I, there's definitely some ethnicity going on. I don't know what. But anyway, I had this hearty debate on reddit about i thought she was black but they're like she is not and i'm like all right okay, fine well, whatever I'm not trying to be offensive i'm just I mean, trying to I, figure it out i'm just saying that natasha reminded him of something. his wife yeah and there was something about her and they're like it was the hug and i'm like okay fine the hug whatever yeah. she also looks a lot like his wife did when she died thank excuse you excuse me for she has short hair yeah, she's, she's a yeah. shorter woman she was just a yeah, you yeah. know a very felt like home anyway he sent her home <laughs> I know. And I laughed. I was like, well, he definitely doesn't want someone that reminds him of his wife. Well, that's okay. Fair. I, I it thought is fair, is actually, I, if you think about it. I thought the same thing. I'm like, you know what? Fair. Yeah. So I was like, all right, fine. So Natasha goes home, and she's hilarious, by the way. She's so full of life. She She's walking out of the mansion, and she stops and looks at the camera, and she's like... We need chairs for the rose ceremony, okay? We should not be standing. We are old women. We should be sitting. We need a sitting rose ceremony. And I laughed so hard because I had read that the first rose ceremony, because there were so many women, it went until 4 a.m. Yeah, I would die. And they're all wearing heels and formal wear. I know. Except for that one woman that showed up in a sweatsuit. That Renee. was Jimmy Kimmel's... Uh, oh, no, no, no. no, no. no. That one yeah. woman who yeah. thought it would be funny to show up in sweats, they're which like, is like, no, not honey. Funny. Yeah, no. you don't get to wear sweatpants until you've been married for 43 Can years. Can you freaking imagine showing up on something like that and wearing sweats? I would never... Yeah, that was Renee, by the Renee way. Renee is gone. Anyway, so I thought Natasha was hilarious. And I'm like, <laughs> I hope this isn't the last we see of her. I hope we see her again in some other form or fashion. I think she's amazing. Yeah. Um, 
So you were, I don't know if you were right or what, but I'm starting, after episode three, I'm starting to notice a trend when women want to dip. Marina was the Indian woman. Oh, yeah. She left. What happened to her? At the end of episode two. How did I miss this? Or maybe it was the beginning of episode three. I don't know, but it was somewhere in between. It was before the show officially started and they said, hey, Gary, so Marina dipped. (laughs) And he goes, oh, really? And he goes, yeah. And she's on the so phone. So they didn't even show it. No. And she's on the phone on FaceTime. And he goes, hey, what's going on, Marina? And she goes, yeah, you know what? I had to go. My family needed me. I'm so sorry. And I'm sitting there going, Stephanie was right. <laughs> she wasn't going to do it. <laughs> she couldn't. She couldn't date a white man. Mm-hmm. She, she had to go back to her family. And she probably and was like, this is really great. And I'm glad I got picked. But this is never going to happen. I'm never, ever going to subject myself to this. Uh, yeah. And I and, and th- this is not the man for me. Right. And she knew it. And so she dipped. And I was like, you know what? Mad respect. At least she was like, no, yeah. I'm not doing this. This is dumb. Yeah. I don't belong here. This is way too entertainment me. And I just thought this was something else. And, and it was such a huge opportunity. I couldn't say no. Yeah, And she was stunning. <coughs> but she's she like, was. goodbye. <clears throat> so she left and she's like, so good luck. And he's like, thank you. Good, thank you, Marina. And that was the end of it. Right. And then episode three hits, and this happened last night. And I thought it was, we're finally starting to get some heat. We're starting, we're finally starting to like. Well, we're down to 12. Yes. At this point, at the beginning of the episode. It's moving quickly. Like you said it would. So they do the dumb thing. And I'm grateful for that, by the way. They do the dumb. First of all, let me just say, I am obsessed with Susan. I know you are. I well, she is great. Love her. But I don't think she's the one. No, she's way too much woman yeah. for him. <laughs> He's way too vanilla for her. She needs a she is very fantastic. large personality man. And yeah. maybe her husband, I don't know if she's a widow. I don't know anything about her. I really I hope, hope that, we find out. That's what I'm saying. I want to know more about her. All I know is this. She told Gary, she's like, yeah, I woke up at 7 a.m. and I, I made chicken piccata. You know, I'm making I, meatballs. That was funny. And I'm just like, <laughs> she's cooking for everyone. And I'm like, okay, this woman does not belong here. She's way right. too good for this show. She she's, is. She's a hairdresser. Like, she's amazing. Yeah. And we all know hairdressers are, are super social. Very and social. Yeah, yeah. And they're just like. And they're artistic. Oh, my God. I love her so much. I'm like, I'm so glad she's on the show. We'll probably see her again. I will say at the not end. On, not on the show, but I mean, like, I hope she becomes I, part of the Bachelor family. Anything. Anything. But what's funny. She'd be a funny, amazing, uh, the next <laughs> Bachelorette. At the end of the season, at the end of the show, they show scenes for the next episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's a scene of her, I mean, practically devouring Gary's mouth. Oh, geez. Lord. And I was like, wow. <laughs> She's like, I waited long enough. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait to see her. Wow. I wonder if that's oh going to be God. her exit episode. I, I don't. I hope not. I hope she's there for a little longer. But anyway. Well, she's good like, entertainment. She's good vibes for the group. Oh, my gosh. She's amazing. Yeah. She's so, so I like funny. I like her. And then at the end, I know you missed this party. It was post credits where they were all and they're just like, Susan, you have got to stop passing gas. <gasps> and she's like, what? They're all like. She goes, yeah, I think it's the meatballs. And they're like, it's definitely the meatballs. And I, I was just like, what is happening? They're so no. they're so open about Stop. everything. Well, they do live together. And I've known women like that. I've never been one. No, I could never. I don't know what it is about us. I think it was the way we were raised, quite honestly. But there, if you I have to pass people, gas, go in the bathroom. I know people like, <laughs> my best friend, Veronica, will tell you, like, if I have to take a shit, I just do. I'm going. And I'm like, Veronica! She's like, What? <laughs> We all do it. Who cares? What am I supposed to do? Sit there and suffer? I'm like, yes. <laughs> like a good lady? You should. Speaking of lady. Do you um, know I have sweated and teared at my desk until five o'clock? Because I couldn't, <laughs> I had to wait till I got home. I can't, you know what? My body just shuts down. If I was on The Bachelor, I wouldn't poop for weeks. <laughs> Never. Right. Never. He'd be like, I want to go on a one-on-one date with you. I'm like, all right. I'll do it. Do they have <laughs> such things that make like, you constipated? We're going to so go to dinner. I'm go? like, really? Okay. Yeah. And you I'll know what? Try. Back in the day, people used to be like, well, just have a salad. No, you can't eat a salad because guess what happens when you eat salad? You'll flush yourself. Thank you. <laughs> you can't. Can I have a potato? You're better off with yeah. a steak. I'm Gary, telling you. Do you feel like having a potato? <laughs> Susan, give me a meatball. No vegetables, no fruit. 
No. Anyway, so so the the ser- the episode's going on. They do this dumbass talent show. Yeah. These poor ladies. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, the talent show I didn't hate. Really? I, I, no, I didn't. I, I hated it when because I, I, I remember when it started playing. I was like, no. I'm like another thing where they make these women look like circus monkeys. Like, look at the old people doing dumb things. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. Yeah. But then I started watching it, and it was actually some of them were really funny. Some of them were really yeah. talented. Nobody tap danced or anything, which. If somebody would have come out with tap dancing, I would have been like, oh, God, you know. <laughs> da, 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 What's your da, name? Da, da. Did do a dance. Leslie. Yeah. Yes. It was pretty good considering how old she is. And I bake, too. And I'm like, That was okay. dumb. Yeah, that part was dumb. But they're but trying to be memorable because there's so it. many of them. Although you made a really funny comment that Kathy, who is has quickly become <sighs> the villain. I know. And you she, said she would. I know. I knew it. You you were so good at that. I was like, I didn't see that. Well, oh, no. She looked like a ghoul. Well, she's developing into oh, exactly she what you just <laughs> like. <laughs> she's turning into a witch <laughs> before our very eyes. She looks like one and now. she looks like one because like, uh, her personality. She's you know like, what? I'm a strong person. I'm like, you're a bitch, actually. And, and I know. Imagine being her watching the show now. <gasps> she's probably like, oh, my God. I why wanna, didn't I put on any blush? I want to kill myself. Yeah, I mean, wow. I, I would yeah. never regret anything more. Oh, than- God. She just needed some color. She was so pale. Well, I, I don't just, know what the way she acted. I, you oh, know her behavior. Oh, yeah. So that's that, what makes everything else look worse. Well, that's what makes her look so ugly. Yeah. But I mean, she The just, quick profile that I was telling you about earlier when we were talking about it before the show was like, they just did a pan and one of the women was on stage doing her thing and the rest of them were watching and they panned and she looked, and we talked about this, long, fi- long film days. I'm sure these- Oh, hours. These women have not exerted this much energy probably in 50 years, right? <laughs> not, well, not when you have to be on all the time. Right. I, it would be exhausting to anybody, yeah. to any person. Are you kidding? When you and I filmed the um, the Hot Ones episode, oh, that was 40 minutes and I wanted to take a nap. <laughs> we were dying, right? Yeah. So 25 years from now, imagine doing something like where For you're filming hours. 12 or t- Yeah, right. You know that thing was going on at 1 a.m.? For sure. Oh, so, odd. yeah. So they did a quick little pan and they showed her and she looked tired and frumpy <laughs> and exo- and she looked old as fuck just like why did they focus on that because you know it when it's mean. you you see it and you're like, <gasps> like well you? anyway what was hilarious is i knew this was going to happen eventually kathy is there to cause problems she's yes. not gary doesn't give a she's crap not about a contender. her not, a, not at all and she knows it so she's you like think? Yeah, because she's just like, you know what? I have a limited time here. I need to cause some ruckus because that is why I'm here. And that's what I'll be remembered for. Right. And I love her for that because, yes, I want to be yeah. the villain on a reality show. I Are you mind. kidding? It'd be amazing. We'd be so good at stuff. I know, right? So, yeah, but we'd also be the one to get the man, too. Well, we are pretty cute. And people were just irresistible. That he'd be like, she's such a bitch, but I can't keep away from her. No. <laughs> and be one of the top threes. We challenge. It, although we'd be one of the top threes and be like, will you marry me? And be like, no, I don't think so. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. No, but anyway, so Kathy's decided. Yeah, you guys don't know that he had nose hair. <laughs> you can't see it on TV, but it was there. I believe you. Yeah, I mean, that's like the kind of yeah. thing that... Oh, yeah. And for me, it can be the smallest, most subtlest thing, and I'll just literally look at you like... Ugh. Rejected. After I know. that, I'm like, I can't ever get past the fact... It's so true. ...that you had a flippy in your nose for the entire time <laughs> we were having dinner, and You're I'll like, never have that image out of my mind. He's a very handsome man, but he has too much nose hair. <clears throat> Thank you. So Kathy has decided that Teresa can no longer exist. Right. I don't know why he ch- she chose her, but she's decided that Teresa well, is too nice, and she thinks she's dumb... And so, therefore, she's decided that Teresa is an oversharer, and she doesn't want her sharing her details. I mean, it's just the typical woman dynamic. It's the wrong one, but, you know. It's a weird flex. It's a weird thing, and it's like, for me, I sometimes I think the woman that you're most like or you're most, I don't even know how to say it. I'm not sure, but she's identified her as a threat Mm -hmm. and that she needs to go. And so, Kathy decides to create some tears and flees off set. Gary comes in. Gary is summoned from wherever they're keeping him. And he comes in and he talks to her. I just have had a really rough day and blah, blah, blah. And so he's like, here, here, let me cheer you up. Take a rose. And she's like, oh, I'm right. so much better now. Suddenly all the world is wonderful. Everything's great. Teresa is, you know, this dumb girl who needs to keep her mouth shut about any of her intimate situations with Gary. And everybody is kind of looking like, 
This is a little overreactive, mm-hmm. but whatevs. Gary goes on this date with Edith. Edith wah, is wah. very awkward, and they have zero, zero sparks. Yeah, no sparks. And I said this to you off, I was going to say off camera, off air was yeah. she, uh, to me, Gary, I think he's from the Midwest. He's from Indiana. Yes, yes. And she looked like she was from New York, New Jersey. She's East Coasty. I think, I can't, I don't know. No, she was. Oh, Her okay. accent was, I don't remember where she was, but yeah. when she talked, I was like, oh God, she's, she seems like quite a strong woman. She too. was. And very strong. I don't woman. know that he's not for strong women. No, I don't think that's it at all, but she's very much, I think she's a little intimidating. Yeah. frankly and she was trying to be friendly and she kind of reminded me of me she's like so do you remember your wedding and he's all yeah, that um was... no that was 50 years ago and she's like oh well I don't, all right well now anyway. what do we talk about because yeah. i thought that was going to be like the greatest starter I thought, ever i thought that was a wonderful icebreaker it's not and then he sends her ass home and i'm like you know what fair yeah and she didn't care she's like thanks bye like she had no ill will she's whatsoever like, i can't do these 12 14 hour days anyway and she's like you're not that great you're not worth yeah. it and well, I mean, she. It's uh, what, what's weird about the show, and I'm still trying to get used to it. Is mm-hmm. these, and you said this before, is these women pining for a man? Like yeah. I would never pine for no. a man. And they've compete. even, and if you remember, they even mentioned it in this show. What They're, they said, you know, we're all going after the same guy, so yeah. it started. It's got a weird now. It's got a weird thing. You know, yeah, it's weird things are happening with us. It's a little polygamist. Kind of it's strange. strange, but um, because the thing we all have in common is that we're all going after the same guy, right? So the big connection of the episode was Joan. Yes, uh, Joan won the talent show with her with her poem because she was so nervous. It was very sweet. It was really sweet. I was not surprised he picked her. And so they have a wonderful date, a wonderful time. He she takes the rose, all the things, and then overnight, she has a change of plans. She has a change of thought. And she says that it's because her daughter just had a baby and that it didn't go well. Well, her daughter had a cesarean. Right. And her daughter, it's not, it's not uh, progressing as well as she had hoped. So she decides she needs to leave. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's why she left. I don't either. I think that her husband's been dead for two years max. That's not very long. And I think she had a great time with Gary and went, I can't do this. I'm yeah. still madly like, in love. Like, I'm just not ready. Yeah, madly in love with my husband who has passed away. And I thought this would work. And it's not. Not only that, she's only 60. Yeah. She's 11 years younger than him. And, totally. and I just don't think she's over her husband yet. And the fact that right. her daughter just had a baby after her, that means that her daughter got pregnant less than a year after her husband died. That's a lot. It is a lot. And I just think she can't do it. And frankly, I don't blame her, man. I don't blame her either. And I think that, um, you know, and I don't know if this had anything to do with her decision, but I know if I had just lost my husband Mm -hmm. and I was potentially dating a man 11 years older than me, my thought's going to be like, okay, so I might have 10 years and I'm going to be doing this again. Again. And, and I can't. And, and you don't, and she, he's still basically a stranger. This yeah. is on television. You know, it may not work out. It's just Absolutely. a lot. And if I can't fathom dating someone two years after Daryl died, <laughs> no, it's and just not possible. We're not men. And I will say this though. He did talk about how he did date a year after his he wife did. died. And, you know, and I he thought said, that was interesting. He said, I just couldn't do it. Like I wasn't ready. And I'm like, so why would Joan be any more ready? Yeah. You know, so. Which is why I think he didn't. Like, he didn't push it. No, he didn't. And he was really emotional. He was. And I don't know if he was crying for her, for her loss or if he was crying because the, the totality of dating a widow and the fact that he's a widow I think it's just a lot of emotional sure. stress I do too I mean some of the women on there have been widows for far longer like 10 years yeah he's I think five or six he's at six yes and she was at two so he's kind of in the middle yeah but I mean I think for me six years for a man six years is a long time yeah um, and, and it's definitely appropriate for him to be ready to like remarry. Sure. For a woman, it, you know, it two, two years is like yesterday. That's so not, and it's, he, and he certainly wasn't ready after two years. No, and not, so, I'm just saying, I just, I've known I know. men who married within a year of their wife I, dying and it was like shocking to me. It's I shocking like, to a lot, but a lot of men are like that. But so it's many true. have done it. Well, they do it because they don't want to be alone. I know, but like, it is weird, but you're right. You're right. Jesus. Anyway, with that being said, I think that April needs to step up her game. 
Yeah. Chicken lady needs to do something. She either needs to become a bad, uh, uh, she needs to be a villain or she needs to try to get in good graces with Gary because she's not going to last much well, longer. Well, I hope she has something else to she's offer. She's kind of sunken into the background. She has. And, she's, and I don't know what happened there. Well, she's beautiful. And so I yeah. think. I, I, she's, well, they're all beautiful. No, they're all beautiful, but she's very, very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, she is not as, um, she's 65. Yeah, she's perfect. So perfect she's actually age. perfect. And. Because she started out as chicken lady. Mm-hmm. So now she's kind of sticky to me. Like she has this whole, this one, she's like a one trick pony. Yeah. And you know, and Leslie needs to stop making him dance. She does it all the fucking time. Because and that's she what needs, she does. It's enough already. Yeah. We're oh, over it. Yeah, enough with the shticks. It's like you either yeah, yeah. are or you're not. Move on. And like, let's, right. Yeah. We need more substance. So what I'm, what I'm loving right now is that Kathy is the villain so far. Teresa is the victim. April needs to step up her game. Sue is the mom of the house. We love it. And um, and then there's a smattering of other women in well, there. Well, Faith, she's. Not- I think I think Faith and Leslie are the top two in my opinion right now. I do as well. And like I told you, what happens is they get a little, they get <clears> concerned <throat> because Gary's not paying attention to them anymore. But it's because he doesn't have to. True. Like he already knows that he likes them. Yeah. So he's like, let's let's whittle gotta, down the the bigger herd. Yes. And I do think that they were telling him, they're like, look, we need you to keep Kathy. We need you to keep Sue. We need you to keep these people we have because to have their some personalities. To, yeah, to ruffle some we, feathers. We can't go into the romance yet. What quite about yet. Nancy? We don't even know her. Like we don't talk about her. She's sixty years old. She's beautiful. Um, she's I not know. completely blonde because there's a lot of blondes. I don't know what. How, what I don't know what. But I she's. Know. I'm going to keep her on my radar for next week. Okay. And so. sometimes these dark horses. That's what I mean. There's, there's a reason why we haven't heard them. And seen honestly, them. and that's the, oh, I have to remind myself because I will fall into the rabbit hole so mm-hmm. easily and just do exactly what the producers want me to do and be like, <sighs> and leaving everything. But then I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's like, look they at edit this. the show perfectly. And I, I call it on like all my, my favorite shows that I watch mm-hmm. all the time, like Blow Deck and Top Chef. I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing. Yes. And I'm going to start looking the other way because that's what you want me to do. You want me to <laughs> focus on what I'm seeing, but really it's because something you got to look at coming. the background. Yeah. So I think you're right. I think yes. some of these people who are just, we can't remember them or yeah. we don't know who There's, they are. They're, suddenly they're like, where was Nancy my whole life? And <laughs> suddenly Gary's like, Nancy is someone that I just, and we're like, what? Yeah. And yeah. they're going to come out and we're going to ha- they're going to have some amazing date. And we're going to be like, mm-hmm. this is it. Yep. Na, 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 na. <laughs> it's so true. So I can't wait. Anyway, I can't wait either. All right. Well, thanks for listening. We'll be back with another recap very soon. Bye. Bye.